students, I'm Munaza Basu, your teacher for the day. And today, I'm going to take up the other two aspects of staffing, that is selection and training and development. In the previous video, I explained one aspect of staffing, that is recruitment. Now today, I'm going to explain about the selection and training and development. Now, what is selection? Selection is the process of choosing the suitable candidate from the pool of applicants after carefully screening the person. It is the process which involves selecting the suitable one by keeping in view the job requirement and the job specifications. This selection process is negative process because here it involves rejection of unsuitable candidates. Then the selection process includes number of steps and the first step is preliminary screening. After receiving the applications, they are carefully scrutinized and properly checked with regard to qualifications, with regard to experience by the screening committee. The purpose here is to eliminate the person who is totally unfit for the organization. So the list of candidates who are to be called for the selection tests are made and the unsuitable ones are altogether rejected. So the next step of this selection process is selection tests. These selection tests aims at measuring certain characteristics of individual and the first test here is intelligence test this intelligence test aims at measuring the intelligence level of an employee and the next one is aptitude test this aptitude test aims at measuring the capability and the potential of an individual to learn new skills next is trade test this test aims to judge the professional competency and job related knowledge of the individual then is personality test this personality test judges the value and the belief system of an individual and the last is interest test this interest test aims to measure the pattern of interest or involvement of an individual so this was about the number of selection tests. The other step is employment interview. This employment interview is done in order to get the detailed information about the candidate, in order to know the suitability of the candidate for the job. The next is reference and background tests. In order to know more information about the candidate, one can Take the references from indirect personal sources, for example, from your previous teachers, from your relatives or college professors. Often, the employers ask for the references, their names, addresses and contact numbers in order to verify the details about the applicant. So these references or background tests help to know more about, get the detailed information about the employee. So this was about the reference and background test. Then is selection decision. The employee will take the decision about the applicant, whether to select him or to reject him. If he cleared all the interviews, selection tests and background and reference checks then after this selection decision the next is medical examination so after selection of the candidate the candidate will undergo for a medical fitness test and after this medical fitness test the next step is employment letter or job offer so employment letter or the job offer is given to the selected person specifying the date and the place of joining the organization and the 
employer expects that the employee will report on the expected date or mentioned date then after this job offer the next step is employment contract it contains the terms and the conditions applicable to both employer and the employee so it will contain the details about the remuneration about the duty hours about the allowances etc so this was all about the selection the second aspect of staffing now coming on to the next there is a well known chinese proverb that if you wish to plan for one year then sow seeds if you wish to plan for 10 years then plant a tree and if you wish to plan for a lifetime then develop people so what is the meaning of this development before that my dear students i will tell you about the training because training is a job oriented process which enhances the knowledge and the skills that are connected with the job development on the other hand is a career oriented process which enhances the learning and the growth that is connected to the overall development of an individual so the difference between the training and the development is training is a job oriented process but development on the other hand is a career oriented process then training it enhances the learning and the skills connected to the job but development on the other hand enhances the learning and the growth and training increases the job related activities job related learnings and skills but development on the other hand focuses on the overall development overall growth of an individual there is another term education education is the process of increasing and understanding the knowledge so it is the interpretation and understanding of knowledge education is a wider term which includes these training and development so this was about the training and development and the difference between the two terms now what is the benefit of this training to the organization the first is training avoids wastage of efforts and money next is training enhances employment productivity employ productivity both in terms of quality and quantity leading to higher efforts then training equips the future managers who can take in case of emergency the next is training increases employ morale reduces employ dissatisfaction and employs turnover and it helps in obtaining effective response to the changing environment both in terms of technology and economy but training is beneficial to the employees also how it helps to improve the skills and knowledge which leads to better career of the individual next is increase performance by the individual help them to earn more then training makes the employees more efficient to handle machines the less prone to accidents and the last training increases the satisfaction and morale of employees there are two methods of this doing training one is on the job methods and another is off the job method now what is this on the job method on the job method means doing the training in the actual workplace it is done by superiors or senior managers so here the emphasis on learning by doing so the first method here is apprenticeship training this apprenticeship training is a practical form of training in which the trainee is placed under the supervision and the control of the experienced person so he is like an assistant to the experienced person so people who want to join the trades like 
plumber, electrician, they have to undergo such types of training. Next is job rotation. Job rotation under this training method, the employee is rotated from one job to another. In order to acquire more knowledge and general background of all the jobs. The next is coaching. Under this, the superior instructs and guides the subordinate or the trainee as a coach and the coach or the counsellor mutually sets the goal and suggests the ways of achieving these goals and reviews periodically the progress and then suggests the change in the behavior and the performance. So here the trainee is placed under the superior and the superior takes the full responsibility for the trainee's coaching. So this was about the coaching. Then coming on to internship training. Internship training, it's a special program or we can say it's a joint program of educational institutes and organizations to train people. Selected candidates study regularly and they also work under any factory or office in order to acquire the practical knowledge and skills. So this was the about the methods of on the job training. Then the next one is off the job methods. This off the job method means doing the training away from the actual workplace. It is done by specialists or agencies. The focus or the emphasis of this off the job training is on learning then doing. So the first method here is classroom lectures or conferences. Under classroom lectures, it is very beneficial or helpful in explaining the concepts and principles. So the use of audio and videos, audio visual, or we can say by demonstration makes these formal classrooms more interesting and offering a vehicle to understand the more difficult points clearly. Then a meeting of several persons and discussing on a topic is known as conference. And every participant, every participant in the conference takes part by analyzing and discussing the various issues related to the topic. So they keep their point of view on the topic, every participant. So this was about classroom and conference. Next is films. Films provide information and explicitly demonstrate the techniques which are not demonstrated by the other methods. When used with classrooms, they are very beneficial or effective method of training the employees. The next is case study. Usually case study involves the problem which is confronted by an organization. Then it is given to the employee to solve the problem. So here the employee gets an opportunity to analyze the problem and come out with number of possible solutions. So it enhances the analytic and the critical thinking of the employee. The next is computer modeling. It stimulates the work environment through programming a computer to imitate some of the realities of the job and allows learning without high risk or high cost which would have been incurred if mistake is done in the real life situation. Then vestibule training. In this method, the training is made to work on the equipments which he will be using in the real workplace. So he will be given training to handle these 
sophisticated and modern equipments and machines. So the last one is programmed instruction. Under this training, the information is broken into meaningful units and then these units are pre-arranged to form logical and sequential learning packages. Then the trainee goes through these units by filling the blanks and answering the questions. So this was about the off-the-job methods. With this, I have completed the sixth chapter of your business studies, that is staffing. Hope you have understood this chapter. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.